mganga kutoka Tanzania akienda achune majani yake na mtu apewe apone mbona yeye haendi through the whole process of approval ni aone hii mti ajiambia kichemsha hii 100 degrees unapona what is the difference between maldawa ya mitishamba and vaccines um there's something called omission bias omission okay. bias in, in, in summary means that you see what you believe as opposed to believing what you see uh -huh. you take a shortcut and in in your world view all of us tend to to see that you only see that which confirms your belief okay and you reject any information that is contrary to what you believe that means therefore if today you swallow some leaves thankfully as you said yes and you had a stomach upset and it disappears even if the stomach resolve uh, results on its own you see cause in the coincidence okay because of what you took you assume that's why the stomach ache result it could then that could be generalized to headache and to everything else and this has been long in coming what we can look at this this should really not be confused with data evidence and science something that has been seen to protect the entire world i repeat the entire world like the polio vaccine 99% eliminated by the way doesn't it surprise you that so far have you heard of those wagangas doing covid so far that's interesting. That's interesting. And that brings me to another point that you actually uh, mentioned before. Uh, people have, there's a, you had a word for it. Omission like bias. People, <laughs> not omission bias. The idea of people not uh, taking diseases seriously because they were actually eliminated totally. Yes, yes. In fact, bottom line is this. Vaccines work. Vaccines work so well that they've become their own worst enemies. Yes. Diseases that used to wipe generations, and, and I mentioned this to you, at the, at the age of my grandmother's age, there are women who lost all their children. Families were wiped out by measles. Yes. We had multiple cases of uh, acute flaccid paralysis from polio. It's now becoming more and more like a disease of the old age. It's, it's looking like it was a disease for the old people. No, there is still no cure. No one will tell you of a cure for polio. No one. The only thing, this disease has almost been eliminated, 99%, is purely because of vaccination. It's because people have been vaccinated against polio, and polio has been eradicated. 99%. Chicken, as for smallpox, completely eradicated from the face of the earth. The deaths, hundreds, millions of deaths that would uh, happen because of measles, have been actually reduced to the bare minimum, only thanks to immunization. Okay. Because the diseases are today less and less visible, people don't think vaccines are that important. Then would it be more helpful if, uh, if wiping out uh, ho the whole disease uh, gives people the element of not taking diseases seriously? Is it possible as a scientist to leave a few people to be used as examples? Like a eh, usikwe, as in watu kidogo wakutumiwa kama mfano kwa watu wengine wenye kuigno Magonjwa. Would that be more effective in terms of people who don't know even some types of diseases ever existed? Would you volunteer to be the one to go down with the one of the diseases as an example? Why are you using me as a bad example? I'm <laughs> just uh, giving a suggestion. <laughs> to see. Yeah. Actually, Dr. Kingori, you're not very far. It, I know it's not fashionable to visit diseases, uh, yeah. to visit hospitals, but I dare you, if you visited any of the general hospitals yes. and went from bed to bed to bed asking what are you suffering from? What are you suffering from? You will have seen all those diseases. You will see them. They are there. It's just that because they are so minimized, so you may not see it in your neighborhood, and therefore you assume it's not there. They are never that far, by the way. We only need to slacken a little bit in immunization against pertussis, for instance, and you will get the disease resurgence. You only need, and, and annually, people, it's fashionable for people to go and sick off because they have flu, but flu is vaccine preventable. Okay. These things are with us all the, They are never that far. Just slacken, lose confidence in immunization, and the disease comes back with vengeance. So in the, in the field of science, you don't uh, appreciate influencers. Thank you. <laughs> 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 you don't take influencers.